One more, and only...
I wonder how Hafton fares now that he sits on the throne. Moira, is something wrong? Weep for Northumbria. Is it Hafton? Has he gotten worse? His heart is broken. He's a mere shadow of himself. With Faravid lost and his brothers away, he wallows in paranoia and sadness. I could speak with him. Where is he now? Wandering the fields of Pitteringa with his beloved Bayonton. I'll find him. Thank you, Moira. Pitteringa is in the east. Just follow the road to Scarborough. Do you see? about this land, my friend. No glory, no hope. Nothing but snows. Stand up, Hafton. I'm taking you back to Jorvik. <laughs> up, my lord. You're a king. You're not allowed to sulk. Men bled and died to sit you on that throne. So go... Sit. My brother, Ivar. Did he die well? He died fighting. You slew my brother and never said a word. You kept this from me. It was no secret. Upper knew. Did he not... Leave me. I will not. I've come to see you safely home. Now get up. I... I mislaid my hammer. 
I think Beonton ran off with it, but I'm not... I'm not... Uh, I'm not well, Eivor. I'll find your hammer, and then you'll come with me. I was on my way to Scarborough. If you find my hammer, bring it to me there. Show me what lies ahead. There's Bjornsson, guarding the hammer. Drunk needs his hammer.
Afton awaits. This hammer is not meant to be thrown, Halfton. Remember that next time. <laughs> My father, Ragnar, he gifted this to me. Took it off a Finnish chief. Still warm with blood when he handed it to me. I had 14 winters. Ragnar Lothbrok was a great king. Finnish arrow killed my mother. A shield maiden she was. As fierce as a wolf swallowing the sun. My father swore to kill the men who took her from us. And he did. Fourteen against one. But that was years ago in the east. And this is the west where my father lies dead. A pile of bones in a pit of snakes. And here we are, still telling stories of his life and deeds. How did my brother die? With his hand on his axe, awaiting the maidens of the battle slain. Now he drinks at our father's side, awaiting the war at the end of days. Beonton, my boy! <laughs> Come here, boy! A dog always forgives, but he needs you home. All of Northumbria does. <clears throat> Do a last thing for me. Light the beacon for all to see, and let it burn.
Your baker is done, Tarpin. And our feasting table will be warmer for it. Eivor, that is... kind of you. I hope one day I can repay you. You are among friends here. There's no need. No need, but a desire. An earnest one. I remember the good things people do for me. To warm my heart in times when... when kindnesses are few and far between. There was one more thing, though, if you had a moment. A grain merchant has set up downriver. I want to bring a half dozen bags home, but I would need an extra pair of hands. I can lend a hand. That's a relief. Tarbin, what brought you to our clan? Your reputation. Heard folks say a band of hard-drinking, battle-scarred warriors had washed up on shore. Said you had settled in the center of Mercia, taking in whatever floatsam, jetsam, and jumble of misfits came to your docks. And this appealed to you? More than anything. Always been a bit of a drifter. The thought of settling in a rowdy camp felt like a good balance. And being a baker, I knew my services would not be sniffed at. I did not take you for a baker when we met. You have the look of someone who swings an axe. <laughs> I do hear that a lot. But baking is your only craft, is that right? I have always enjoyed it. And I have always been good at it. But when I'm not able to find such work, I take odd jobs where I can. So long as I can work with my hands. Well, we have that in common. A question, Eivor. You're a warrior. A fighter. That much I know. But if you could stop fighting, what would you do? You ask the wrong question. I can stop fighting. But to do so would be to deny the essence of who I am. I think you mean, if I had to stop fighting, what would I become? No, you've given me the answer I wanted. It's good you found what calls you. A rare and happy thing. Yes, yes, I see you both. What can I...? It's you. Well, what are you doing in Mercia? Collecting grain. Thirty silver's worth, if you can spare it. I do have the coin. Right. Well... Take what you need and get going. That should cover it. Thank you kindly. Of course. And you, uh... You take good care of yourself. Yeah? Is that your usual vendor? He seemed a little surprised to see you. Did he? Well, could be he knows somebody who looks like me. There's no shortage of big bearded men around here, yeah? I suppose not. About your question earlier. What would I do if I weren't a warrior? I would ask the same of you. Is baking bread your greatest wish? Is there something wrong with wanting to bake bread? The Romans baked bread. The Egyptians baked bread. It is a fine trade. 
But is it your calling? It is my calling to feed people, I'd say. To be of service to those I care for. And who care for me? That brings me joy. But that way, it is a noble pursuit. I don't know that it's noble. It is simply what gets me up in the morning. It gives me purpose for the rest of my day. Need help with your grain? No need, no need. I'll do the rest myself. Bring it in and put it where I like. All right. It was good to speak with you, Tarpin. A welcome diversion. You too, Eivor. Thank you for your help. Tekla, you look like you wrestled a bear. Is something wrong? God, Eivor, I was robbed on the road between here and Lincoln. By who? Did you get a good look at them? They were Saxons, I know that much. A pack of them lifted four barrels of my ale and all the coin I had on me. The biggest one pulled me off my horse and stuck his mouth in my ear, said, Tell Guthban we expected him home soon. Guthban? That's battlebone in the Saxon tongue. Are you sure? That's what he said. It's not someone here, is it? Not that I know of. I do not begrudge us taking in orphans, Eivor, but... A good idea. You take care of... Thank you, Eivor. I want to see the Alliance map. Hamptonshire, the last Saxon stronghold. And very heavily guarded. King Alfred is preparing for war. You will meet tremendous resistance. As will Alfred. Is Guthrum Jarl there with his army? He is. He and Oba have gathered a sizable force and intend on launching an attack on Alfred soon. If we support their assault, England will fall to us. A pagan land where a multitude of gods may freely roam. I will go to Hamptonshire and speak with Guthrum. Send word to our allies to gather in the Thames just outside the Shire. I will. May the gods share in this, our final victory. What is it? Eivor, you must not go. You must not. The signs, the portents, they shout and veil. Your leaving will be our doom. Speak clearly, Volker. What have you seen? I have thrown the bones. I have stared the offal of beasts. And in the rising steam, I saw the end of it all. Though this battle you may win... This war, you will not. Your foe will be your master. Your hope will be your grief. This is fate. Our fate. I thank you for this, Volker. But the yarns of fate are too frayed for me to follow now. I owe this fight to my friends and allies, and I will see it through. Go then, with great care. But know that the home you leave will not be the home to which you return.